legacy brand like Jimmy Lewis, we had an in-depth story in the magazine and it's just an amazing guy, this Jimmy Lewis, what a legend and we have his European representative here at the boat show and we want to walk through a little bit about what's going on at the boat show, what's new, what's hot and house business. Thanks yeah, for having so me, how's, how's, the, how's the boat show? Awesome show again, uh, it's our second year now for us at the boat show and uh, we are again very well received, lots of uh, interest in the boards, especially quality construction is something that really sets them apart. Uh, Jimmy in the business since 1968, starting with surfboards, with subboards, with foil boards, kite boards. He has been in every area of the surfing industry. Uh, he has put his mark on and so legend, as you said earlier, you met him this past year. Uh, yeah. A living history book, as you named him. Absolutely living history book, but transporting his legacy well into the 2024s with a slick looking board behind us, paired with some really nice foils. So why don't we take a little tour of your booth? Good, so uh, where we just started, uh, we just saw the new Twisted V downwind board from Jimmy. Um, not only an awesome looking board, but uh, a downwind board that really calls for downwind. It's not a board made for uh, flat water pump ups. It really needs some swell in order to get going. We have three different sizes. We have a 710, we have an 82 and an 86. Uh, and all sizes again come in two different widths. So start out at 113, we go all the way up to 145. Um, again, as always with Jimmy, both uh, constructions are available. We have a full sandwich construction, the standard construction, and uh, we have the same thing in uh, the carbon sandwich construction. If you want to ride like a legend, uh, Laird Hamilton has an 86 by 23 of this uh, shape. Ride like a legend, get a twisted V. Yeah. Ride like Larry. Hmm? One of the few guys that I have not been able to interview yet with my magazine, but that's a side note. Hmm? What else is going on, Jan? What else is hot and cool that we must know about? Something that we can stay here at this board directly. Um, we have specific downwind foils from Cloud9. So the FS series has been known for, what, one and a half years now. But now we have the Black Series in FS. Um, that's a downwind specific foil setup. We have a slimmer profile than with a regular, um, with a slimmer, slimmer, prof slimmer profile than with a standard setup. Um, a downwind specific tail, the new catalyst tail that we have here, different than our standard tail. We have a one piece including the fuselage. Um, slimmer profile, again, shorter cord, much faster, more lift. And uh, we have learned that it pretty much puts every of the FS foils to a different level, not only the downwind. Um, you just gain lots of lift while getting up to more speed and maintaining your, your agility in the water. You have quite a big booth. What else? What else we got going on here? Jan? Walk us through. We have SCP boards, we have surfboards. Yes. We have wings. Again. We got a quite a lot going on here, my friend. It, it, again, like uh, in the last year, we our focus in the sub area is on wave and downwind slash touring. So we have uh, so we have we have three different downwind boards with us uh, this year. So last year we already looked at the rail, 14 by 28, a board that is quite fast in flat water as well, picks up any swell quickly, a little bit easier than the rail. Um, same size, same measurements, 14 by 28, the M14, and now new for this year we have the uh, M12.6. So. Again, same shape, just a little bit shorter, a little bit more accessible for especially smaller people. And so the M12.6 this year. Cool. All Jimmy Lewis, Maui tested and shaped. And then we are walking into the wing section here, I see. You're also representing wings. What's going on in the wing industry? What's going on in the wing industry? So I think it's uh, quite exciting what we, uh, what PPC from New Zealand has developed uh, for 
us this year. So we have the new M1 wing from PPC here. The M1, completely new setup. We have a Dyneema strut that pumps up to 12 PSI, so a very rigid frame. Uh, hard handles for the first time with PPC. But the real trick in this whole wing, from my, from my point of view, is the canopy. As you can see, we have a very stiff and profiled canopy here. But the trick in this whole deal is that the material comes out of the America's Cup. It's a waxed material that doesn't have any stretch. So even after many hours of on the water, your wing will still look like this. And unfortunately, we had a wing that had more than 50 sessions already on the water. We wanted to bring it, but we put a foil through the front tube in the shore break in Portugal last week. And so unfortunately, we couldn't bring it. Huh? But it's really amazing that after roughly 50 sessions, your yeah. wing still looks like uh, one that you just picked up. And I want to jump in right here from a consumer point of view. Absolutely, this is key because we hate nothing more than wings bagging out after a few sessions and they really lose their rigidity rather fast. And we, we noticed this in the first and second generation wings where they just bag out and you're spending a lot of money on this product so you want to have quality and longevity with this i know the industry wants to sell fast and have good turnovers but we as consumers we want longevity and rigidity and rigidity we definitely have so as i said it's a very stiff profile so this wing is not for let's say the average rider it's uh, somebody that really wants high performance mm -hmm. it's a very fast wing it's a very agile wing and you need to get used to as it reacts to get on to foil a little bit different than your standard wing that you're used to so cloud nine uh, we have a new high modulus mast here uh, much lighter, much stiffer than the previous generation. Comes in 70, 80 and 90 centimeters lengths. Amazing the development that we had here. And cool new stuff. Speaking of mass, I see one unique item that we definitely must talk about for the next few minutes is um, this foil drive kind of device that converts a foil into an e-foil. And we see a new system here that you are distributing here at the boat show. Tell us about so, it. So we have the Stoke foil unit here. Stoke foil uh, foiling comes out of Australia. It's a uh, one-piece unit. So you have a torpedo that you mount on. You, know, you can mount it pretty much to any mast on the market. Comes with different distance pieces. So just easily is attached to any mast in a matter of a couple of minutes. Um, you have a battery in the front piece that is detachable. The battery provides you roughly with 50 boosts per session. Mm -hmm. So 50 boosts getting up on foil. Okay. Gets you flying in low wind. What's gets, this? What's this? It's that's, a, a cable. That's, that's a Bluetooth receiver. Bluetooth doesn't work underwater. So in order to have um, the connection to your remote to give power, you do need a Bluetooth receiver that you need to place on top of your board. So that's the only thing outside of the torpedo that will be on your board. As I said, 50 boosts per session or per load. And you actually, you could mount this unit uh, low on the mast as well and use it as an e-foil for roughly 15 minutes. So here you have it. Jan's got a lot going on from Haiku Sports here at the boat show with a big booth. You can take a tour of all the Jimmy Lewis products, the foils, the wings. Try it out on the swimming pool and have a good time and touch and feel everything. Thank you so much, Jan. Great to see you, Mike. We'll hopefully see you at the trade show and uh, on the water as well. Excellent. See you next time. Thank you.